All right, guys, so for Saturday night for dinner, we are having five of these packets of mashed potatoes, the Caesar salad, and I'm just warming um, the water and milk in the microwave. And then we're gonna go outside and show you guys we are doing a so Obviously, this is just part of it. And I think the steaks are almost done. And we have that yummy steak sauce that we're gonna put on. And then we have hot sauce for the wings. And the Caesar salad is done and the mashed potatoes are getting done. Emma's finishing those up. And over here we have our kids' pool clothes because we were at the pool. And we're definitely gonna go, the sun is shining. We're gonna go to the beach and we'll bring you guys along. For lunch on Sunday, we are having leftover barbecue. We are still at the RV park uh, camping. So we're gonna have this and we're just gonna warm it up and some leftover mashed potatoes and call it good. All right, so for Sunday night dinner, we just got home from camp. I had leftover taco rice and taco meat um, in the fridge, so I popped it in the freezer right before we left, and now I'm throwing out in the microwave those leftover cabbage rolls from last week, and that's what we're gonna be eating, and they're gonna be delicious. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, no school for the kids, and for the little ones, they wanted cereal. We have some Cheerios, we have some cinnamon toast crunch, and then this rice, uh, crisp rice, generic that needs to be um, eaten up. So Monday for breakfast, I'm just having two boiled eggs with the everything but the bagel seasoning. So for breakfast, we are just eating leftover taco rice with meat and cheese on leftover tortillas. So let me show you guys some of our toiletries that we used up. The kids and me went through this Reach mouthwash. We've had it, um, it needed to be used up, so I helped them use that up. And then I brought in from our stockpile this mouthwash for me and my husband uh, and the older kids. We like the Crest Advanced. It's just a little too spicy for the kiddos. So this isn't as bad. They finished that Colgate toothpaste, which I'm super excited. And then this uh, body lotion, I think after today, after I take a shower, this is gonna be gone. And these are just little toiletries that we got from a hotel that we just wanna use up. And with the toothpaste, we got these when we got our dental cleanings not long ago. So we started one of these. We're gonna be using up the little toothpaste to get those out of our stockpile. So for Monday, I'm also starting a bread in my bread machine, mostly because I have just a little bit of this uh, instant dry milk and I wanna use it up because I've had that for a while and I wanted to rotate my flour, use it up. And my yeast, I do buy my yeast in bulk at Costco. I keep it in the freezer and then this I just keep in the fridge and then i wanted to show you guys we also finished up a whole thing of dawn so i just brought this from the stockpile as well and yeah i'm gonna get this bread going we have bread in the freezer but uh, i wanted to like i said just to rotate the dry goods so now that i'm showing you guys everything that i'm restocking i have these light bulbs some of them are for my um salt lamps and then the rest are just like for our night lamps we have the LED ones, but we like these old fashioned with the light bulb ones better. And we have night lights all over throughout our house, you know, cause we got little kiddos. So I just grabbed three of these from my stockpile. I think they're gonna fit in there perfectly. And yeah, replenishing these so as well. So for Monday today, I don't really plan on cooking anything per se, because like I said, we have leftovers, lots of leftover barbecue from camp and lots of um, cabbage rolls still. And I think the only person who's been eating the taco meat and the taco rice is David. He's been eating it. He ate it last night. He ate it for breakfast, as you guys saw. But I did pull out a few things that I want to use up. So we took the tortillas with us at camp, and we didn't use it. There's still this one tortilla and then two of the little ones. So we're hoping to eat those today. Hey, Noah. Mm -hmm. And then I took these out of our pantry. I've never made them before. I got these at grocery outlet a while back and it calls for butter or melted margarine. And I don't use this. I only bought it for the holidays for one recipe and we still have quite a bit left. So I'm gonna use this instead of the butter just to kind of go through it and use it up. And then I'm also gonna make these uh, Jiffy corn muffin mixes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do two or four. I wanna make a bunch of muffins and put some in the fridge and then put some, if we have leftover in the 
freezer. I have a lot of these boxes, like over 50, like a lot. So we'll use some of those. And then these two peppers, I think my husband cut up two of them. Remember I got these in my grocery haul. Um, he used them for work. And these two, I wanna just wash, slice, and put in my freezer to have. And then this hummus, there's not much left. I told the kids they need to finish this up. It's been sitting in the fridge. So um, they're gonna be working on this and hopefully we can get this out of the fridge. The okay, update, the other two peppers were in the back of the fridge. And these ones are looking actually a little bit sadder than the other ones. So uh, I have all four peppers. I'm gonna wash them and it looks like that part's a little mushy, so I'll cut that off. Okay, so this is what they look like. Some of the chocolate I have to throw out because it was in really big chunks. Again, this I got from Grocery Outlet. I think it's, um, oh no, it's still within date that I was past the date. So I don't know why some of the chocolate is just hard. Um, I don't have any more muffin tins. So I still have the other box that I had done. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it either in, um, oh, we can do like a pie crust. I mean a pie or a some other kind of pan. We'll figure it out. These are no bake, so they will just go straight in the freezer. So I decided to make it in this little pan and I think it's the perfect size. We'll pop this in the freezer and then Noah is snacking on seaweed. And Lucas is eating that banana that was left over. I'm using four boxes of the Jiffy corn mix and this is the honey one. And I just put it in this pan. I brought this from our garage. This was something I got on clearance at Fred Meyers after Christmas. As it has three different types of popcorn and I like it because I can use the tin afterwards for something else and um, the kids can snack on these and get Here's these the cornbread. I got a little toasty on top. Nevertheless, I think it's going to be good and I let it go a little bit longer because I poked some uh, toothpicks in it and it was still kind of raw in the middle. Then here's all my peppers. I'm going to go throw these in the freezer. All right. These have been in the freezer for an hour. And they look really good. And they taste really good too. So the kids came inside. They already had some of those um, things that I made that were frozen and I put them in the fridge so they don't melt and they've already dug into the cornbread. It's really good. And my bread just finished as well, homemade bread. You guys, these are the last of the cabbage rolls that were already pre-boiled and I had in the freezer and I took them out yesterday. Here is the homemade bread. It turned out really nice. And then I used a spatula to get all the sour cream. So this is out of our fridge. We still have the sour cream that I got for camp. We actually ended up not using it. And yes, people are cutting into the cornbread. They really like it. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh, Monday night. And uh, Lucas and Noah wanted some macaroni and cheese. So I'm just making up one little box. And I'm going to use some of this margarine because... I still have a lot of it instead of the butter. We're gonna use that. You guys, one more thing before I close the vlog for Monday. So these are barbecue wings that my husband grilled on the portable grill at the beach when we were camping and you can tell that that grill just burned everything. So they're pretty nasty and they're pretty hard and chewy. So I'm putting them in the crock pot with a little bit of this sweet chili sauce that I had in the fridge on just uh, low for two hours and then hopefully they'll kind of soften them up and my husband will take some to work. All right, so for tomorrow, I am taking out, there's three beef patties with some hamburger buns. There's four buns, three beef patties. We'll use the bun for something else. And then when I made those cabbage rolls, I had some leftover filling and I'm actually going to make a Romanian style meatball soup. And I took out some more ground turkey because I think I need a little bit more than this for the soup. And then I took out this ground beef because I have that big tub of cottage cheese in my fridge that needs to get used up. So I am going to make homemade lasagna. So for Tuesday, I'm going to make that meatball soup. I have salt and pepper. I have that filling that I made for the cabbage rolls with some extra ground turkey. And then I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs and an egg to kind of bind the meat together. Homemade bone broth, some rice. This is that frozen tomato paste that we put away, carrot, celery, garlic, and onion, which kind of, those are, go in all of my <laughs> soups. I'm gonna put some bay leaves and some Italian seasoning and thyme. Oh, and I forgot a little bit of 
chopped up parsley at the end and some sour cream. So here's my breakfast, it's around 10.30. I have a boiled egg with just everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. Um, we still have some in there and I have some of this Dijon mustard um, from Trader Joe's with a leftover Italian sausage that my husband grilled at camp. I warmed it up and then I wanna show you guys, my kids went through another box of cinnamon toast crunch. So next thing on the menu for Tuesday is lasagna. The main reason is I had this cottage cheese in the fridge and it was best by um, the 15th. I don't even know what date is today, but it's sealed and I'm sure if I open it. Yeah, it's fine. It's still good to use. So I wanna use the majority of this, if not all of it up. We'll see how big the lasagna turns out. I have two cans of mushrooms. I'm going to drain them Rinse them, chop them up, and saute them with my onions. And then I want to shred these two carrots just to add some extra veggies. And then I have garlic, ground beef, tomato um, marinara sauce, and then two boxes of uh, ready oven-ready lasagna noodles. And I have a bunch of these in my stockpile. I just get these at Dollar Tree. But now with all the shortages, I'm not sure if... They're even available that I just keep in my fridge and then I use it when I need it. So I'll add some of that on the lasagna. We took this bag of cheese with us to camp uh, for polenta and we never used it. So I brought that bag and that's just mozzarella that came out of this bag. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go through all of it. Um, if we do, I have lots and lots of these bags. I get them super cheap, either at Fred Meyer or Safeway, and then I just freeze them. And then I wanted to show you guys, this is how much... How many carrots we have so this might last me for this week but i'll definitely need more carrots next week so i'll probably grab that in my next grocery haul and then i also brought this from our um stockpile just to have in the fridge because we're out of mayo so i feel like we are definitely using up a lot of our canned goods and stuff so i'm very excited this is going to make a huge lasagna which will probably be, be be all gone by the end of the day but that's okay and then we still have those burgers that are in the fridge thawing out and we can have those later on as well i grated the two carrots on this box grater and then i remembered i still have two of these bags of spinach so i'm going to use i think probably all of it because it just cooks down i'm going to chop it up it's already washed cleaned and i put a paper towel in there just to kind of absorb some of the freezer burn uh, but I'm going to use that as well. And then this morning, David had an Italian sausage and he opened up a can of beans. Let me see if I can. beans. And he ate this on toast with an Italian sausage for breakfast. And now he's eating another Italian sausage and he apparently is very starving, even though he ate all this like, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. But you know, teenagers. And so the soup is almost done. The lasagna will be done when he comes home from school. It'll be really good. Soup. It was very easy to put together. This was um, a little heavy on the meat, so it's a very thick, but it'll be a very filling soup. Uh, I should have added at least, I think, one or two more carrots, but that's okay. Here are the mushrooms, carrots, onions, and I'm gonna add the um, garlic. I do that at the end because I don't want it to burn, and this is for the lasagna. Uh, since I had the parsley out to put in the soup, I chopped some up for the lasagna and I'm also going to use Italian seasoning when I put the sauce together. So I'm just sauteing this. I'm going to take them out, saute the meat, drain it, and then add this back with the meat and the sauce and everything. And then that will be our sauce for the lasagna. Everything together. I ended up using that whole bag of spinach. I just put the two wedges of laughing cow cheese. In my lasagna, I usually add a jar of Alfredo, but uh, because I had this cream, uh, this laughing cow cheese, I'll see if I need more. Um, I, I wanted to use this up instead and that was a lot of spinach that bag was really packed but I'm glad I used it up I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt uh, not salt I've been salting and pepper I've been adding salt and pepper along the way to the veggies to the meat and um, I am gonna add a little bit of sugar just to cut the acidity of the tomatoes the tomato sauce and then let me turn you guys around here I did end up taking this it's rock solid frozen 
I've had this in my freezer since it looks like December. So it's just a take and bake. I'm going to bake it. I'm going to let it thaw out though. I'm going to let it thaw out. I wish I would have taken it out last night or this morning, but I just thought of it. I have my pan ready. I do have some leftover homemade bread. And then I'm also going to use an egg. I'm going to take some of this cottage cheese and mix it up with an egg and then pour it over the lasagna. lasagna. We still have a lot of filling left over. And I only used about half of the cottage cheese and not even because there's still some left over. So I'm going to pop this in the oven. I have my oven going at 400 degrees. I'm going to make another batch and see um, if we have more leftover we'll make a little pan as well but that i'm not even going to pop in my freezer because first of all i can't i don't have any room but i'm going to put it in my fridge in the garage and we'll just heat it through maybe friday or something i don't know my kids could eat lasagna all day long so later on in the week here is my second lasagna i used up exactly the two boxes of pasta uh some of this cheese and then we still have Quite a bit of cottage cheese, uh, just a little bit less than half. And I'm going to probably eat that with the kiddos for a snack or for breakfast. We used up all the mozzarella, so I will pull out another bag out of the freezer. Here is my husband's dinner. He is having the meatball soup with some of that um, pickled cabbage with a little bit of olive oil and that ciabatta bread that we baked in the morning. Everyone, it is Wednesday morning. And for breakfast, my two little ones wanted macaroni and cheese. And we finally finished up this margarine, so I can throw that out. My husband finished this uh, creamer, so that's going to the recycle as well. And obviously, I got my other creamer that I bought uh, the first week of the challenge. And then I pulled out this butter. You can see it's frozen. I'm just going to let it thaw out a little bit and just put it in the fridge. And yeah, that's what's going on. So for Wednesday so morning breakfast, we are having oatmeal, some strawberry oatmeal with some so chia for lunch and dinner for wednesday we popped in the oven actually david popped in the oven um the other lasagna that was in the fridge they wanted it so i'm not even gonna wait till friday they can have it today good morning everyone it is thursday morning i have my crock pot heating up i pulled out these teriyaki pork tenderloins from my freezer you can see that i got them out on clearance for a dollar 99 at kroger and that's a really really great price because they're a lot more expensive than that right now. I have this ranch seasoning that I want to kind of um, put over the potatoes. I'm going to put the tenderloin. You can cook it in the bag, but I'm going to use my crock pot. And then I'm going to peel, wash, and dice these potatoes. Put a little avocado oil, salt, pepper, and some of that seasoning. And I'm also going to add two onions and some garlic. And just kind of put the potato and the onion and everything. Nestle it around the meat and the crock pot and just let it go on high for a couple hours and dinner is going to be done now lucas does not like the pork he'll eat the potatoes but he won't eat the meat so what i'm thinking for the little ones if they don't want this then uh, i'm gonna make them either a cheese pizza with those tortillas or with those pita breads that i got yesterday or i'll just take out uh one or two frozen pizzas because we have plenty in the freezer and just make that up for them. So this is what it looks like. I just feel like potatoes and onions go so well together. I also put some of that, gar actually all of that garlic, it wasn't very much. And then I also decided to take out these um, sausages because I'm thinking for my husband's lunch, if there isn't any more pork left over, we're gonna do like a stir fry with those frozen peppers, some onion, and then maybe some of those mushrooms for his work lunch for tomorrow. And because I still have some of this in the fridge, even though the pork has a marinade on it, I feel like it's very thin <laughs> marinade. I'm going to add just a little bit of this, poke some holes in the pork and add that on there. And then I'm just going to put this all around. I feel like I could have added a few more potatoes. Uh, but either way, I think it should be enough. Um, if you've never cooked with the slow cooker, you guys, it's going to cook evenly. The meat will cook and the potatoes will cook and everything will cook evenly and delicious. And I added a little bit more of that teriyaki sauce. So we'll have a little bit of that sauce. It's going to so be I really still good. have this one little tortilla that's been hanging around. So what I'm going to make is I'm going to make like, um, some scrambled eggs. I pulled out this morning and it's still thawing out this ham that I bought for the holidays. I was gonna make an appetizer with and I never did. So I froze it, I pulled this out so we can eat it up. I'm gonna cut some of this 
and with two scrambled eggs and maybe some cheese and just wrap it up like a burrito to use this up. And then I have all this cooked turkey from Thanksgiving. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm gonna take one of these little bags out and I'm gonna make like a, um, kind of like a chicken salad, but with turkey and potatoes and carrots and peas and it's gonna be really delicious. My husband really, really loves it and so does Noah and um, they'll be really excited to see that. And obviously I'm only taking out a little bag of it out. But let's get breakfast going so I can use this up. That'll be another thing out of here and start using some of this up as well. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put in the, that tortilla and maybe add a little bit of hot sauce and call it good and it is 10.30. This is gonna keep me full for a long time. I'm pretty excited about it. Hot mustard sauce that we have in the fridge from Panda Express and we have a lot of these little sauces from Panda or Taco Bell. So, so there's that. that. I took out the potatoes and onions out because I have a lot of juice, a lot of sauce down there, and I just made a little cornstarch slurry, and I want to thicken that up and make it more into like a gravy. I think it's going to be really delicious. I might throw in some um, parsley. I have it in the freezer. Actually, I think I am going to do that at the end. It's going so to the good. pork tenderloin turned out, look at that, it's like falling apart. I can't even like, I wanted to turn it over with the fork, but it was falling apart, and then it made a nice gravy. And then there's the potatoes. And then David heated up and ate these um, boneless chicken bites that we had in the freezer that obviously we got a while back on clearance and he didn't film it. I always tell them to film for you guys, but he didn't. But this is what it was. <laughs> so I'm going to actually have some of this for lunch. It is 1.30. It smells so good. My whole house smells so, so delicious. So my mouth is watering. Let me Put some on a plate and show you guys Here what it looks like. the finished product. I did hit it with some frozen parsley and that thawed out very quickly because the crock pot is still hot and I'm gonna enjoy this. For so, the little so much. ones, I have two of these pizzas. I have one more in the oven and the older kids already got into the potatoes and one of the pork loin is gone. So we have one more and it is 3.30 in the afternoon. So what are you gonna have, Noah? Pizza. He wants the pizza. He just took a shower. Usually when they come home from school, they take showers. Yeah, and but I don't have to take a shower tomorrow because I took one today, but I can, I can take a shower tomorrow. Yeah, it's if you want to, you can. Tomorrow he has a short day, and he's already in his pajamas. Cozy. I am just cleaning up the house. Almost done. Finished the living room. We have lots of blankets because it's winter, and we like to snuggle with blankies. And... um. I just want to finish up the kitchen and their room is done and their laundry is put away. So I'm really I'm excited about cleaning that. my sink and everything. I want to show you guys this all purpose cleaner has just a little bit in it, but it's been sitting in my laundry room. So it's going to go on my dish soap right there and we are going to finish that off. And I'm also uh, putting some baking soda and some hot water down my drain with some orange essential oil just to kind of deodorize it and clean it and just make it all nice. I am just warming up my husband's plate. And then for dinner, I'm also making this strawberry harvest salad. We bought two of these from Kroger last week and we didn't use them. We only used the Caesar salad at camp. So we still have one more in the fridge and then this one. And I am also making myself another coffee. It is 4.55. I'm gonna go ahead and have a coffee. My husband's gonna eat dinner. The kids ate pretty much all the pizzas except one slice and a couple bites. There's the rest of the potatoes and that's what's going on. I'm just gonna close the vlog for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so um, just before we go to bed, me and Lucas, we are eating some fries that we found in the freezer and with some leftovers. Good morning everyone, it is Friday, the last day of this week's pantry challenge. We have a lot of things that we are going to use up today. I pulled out the meat last night. I had this street taco starter. I've never used it. I got it on clearance at Fred Meyer a while back and I actually have quite a few of these um, in our freezer. It said used by October 20th, 2021, but it's been in the freezer, so it's fine. So what I wanna do with that is I wanna make fajitas. So I'm gonna slice it up 
but then I know some of my kids will not eat the fajitas, Lucas. <laughs> so, and then Noah eats it a little bit, but he's not like in love with it. So, um, I'm going to make taco, uh, yeah, taco meat for them. So I'm going to use one of this taco seasoning mix and this mild sauce to put in the ground beef. I took out these black beans that I had previously cooked and put in the freezer. And I think I'm going to also add this can of white beans to kind of just mix it through. I have those peppers you guys saw in the freezer that I'm going to use for the fajitas and onions. And then I have this sad cilantro that's starting to turn brown. Cilantro lasts forever in your fridge, but this definitely needs to be used up. So I'll use some of that. And then these tortillas I just took out of the freezer. I don't know if you can tell. They have some freezer burnt. So these will not be going, we won't be using all of them, but they will not be going back into the freezer. We will keep them out throughout the week and use them up. And then I wanna make some white rice to go with everything and probably use some um, chicken bouillon with that just to flavor it. We'll use sour cream. We do not have salsa, but we have sour cream. We have hot sauce in the fridge and we have the uh, Mexican style cheese. So I can also do a couple quesadillas with that cheese as well if the kiddos wanted some quesadillas next to their tacos. So we're going on the Mexican theme this week. I feel like we got majority of everything out of the freezer <laughs> that we're using. Uh, a few things from the pantry and yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's been going really good. The challenge has been going awesome and I'm really excited about next week as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going grocery shopping or not just because I busted my budget so much this week, but we'll see what the deals are, if it's worth for me to go grocery shopping or if there's something we really need. Um, and then after this month is over, obviously we're gonna go and stock up on fresh salads and stuff like that, but I feel like we've been using up a lot of what we had. Obviously this has been in my freezer since October, so that needs to be used up. Just things like that to rotate everything So it is 12.25, you guys, on Friday, and this is what I'm having used up some more of this ham and some eggs, some spinach, some of this cheese, and I used uh, coconut oil instead of avocado oil. I forgot I have that. I really need to use it up. We have a little bit more left. So that's going to be my breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. And <clears throat> I'll see so we have a little bit of change of plans. I took out another one of these three taco meats. It's pretty frozen, but it should thaw by the time we're doing dinner. And I took out some of this uh, sweet corn because I want to do a side of corn. So my oldest son, David, was supposed to go to a friend's house and have dinner there. And the plans have changed. So I need to add more food. Teenagers, you know how that goes. They eat a lot. So um, if we need to get more beans, I have lots of different uh, cans of beans. We will. We'll just kind of see. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is... Like this is not a lot of peppers for that much meat for fajitas, but this is what we have. So we'll work with it. We can always add more onions. And then I also took out, I have in the freezer, um, that's hummus cups and guacamole cups. So I'll take one or two of the guacamole cups out and then put everything else back in. And then we also have taco, like hard taco shell kits in the garage. So, I mean, we have plenty of tortillas, but we have those too if they want to use that. And uh, David's been peeling these mushrooms. I'm going to slice them and get them on the dehydrator. Hopefully soon. Just have a lot to do today. And uh, he did cook up those Italian sausages for my husband. He ended up doing them in the air fryer without mushrooms or onions or anything. So it was just um, the Italian sausages, which my husband still appreciated. So yeah, we're just going to make a stretch. I really, really, really wish we had more peppers. That's I'm really bummed about that. I'm going to go dig through my freezer in uh, the garage. I know I've frozen peppers before. Really dig in there and see. Hopefully, we can find some. If not, it'll be okay. We'll have a side of beans, a side of rice, a side of corn, and it'll still be delicious. I made that chicken salad yesterday. I'm going to make it today. So I'm going to peel, chop... Uh, peel and boil these carrots and then chop them up. I have two more boiled eggs that we had left over from camp. We've been, we had a lot left over from camp. We've just been eating it throughout the week. And then I'm gonna boil these potatoes and chop those up. I'm gonna thaw out some of this um, 
some of these peas. And then after I'm done boiling the carrots and potatoes and everything, I'm actually going to boil another batch of eggs to have in the fridge because we don't have any more. And then um, the turkey breast has already thawed out. It's been in the fridge. And I'll show you guys when I put everything together. But I just wanted to show you guys I am still cooking and using up a lot of the things around the house. For this salad, I'm going to be using mayo, a little bit of sweet relish, and some mustard. If you have olives or pickles or anything like that, you can chop up and put it. I already chopped up the little two eggs. Uh, I'm just going to use relish and I'm not even going to bother opening up a can of uh, olives. We'll do it without. I have the turkey here. I'm going to chop it up into little pieces. My carrots are boiling. Then I'm going to put my potatoes and then I have my peas just kind of thawing out over there. I a short day today, the little ones. And they found this box of pretzels in the freezer. And we're going to try them out. We're going to put them in the oven for 400 degrees and then in a few minutes or I think before we're supposed to spray them with water and yeah moisten pretzels with a small amount of water and sprinkle this and then pop them in the oven and I think we have a little bit of queso left over from how we had at camp right yes so they can dip it in that these mushrooms took over an hour it took forever but I peeled them with David's help uh sliced them and then I had to put every single one individually on these racks I have nine racks and I still have all the stems and I'm just gonna cover these up or maybe better off just put them in a ziploc bag till tomorrow and then I'm gonna chop those up and dehydrate them I'm not throwing those away so I'm gonna turn this on this is the dehydrator I have it's from Amazon it is quite big it works great and then I forgot to show you guys, my husband eats one of these with his coffees in the morning. So he just finished this this morning and I'm actually going to wash this out and repurpose it. And then here is what's left of the pretzels. They were very salty. And then here is my salad. I'm going to cut up the potatoes and get it all done. I've already boiled my eggs. It's, awesome. it's 2.24 already. What do you want, Noah? Okay. So let me finish the salad. Actually, let me get the mushrooms plugged in, finish the salad, and then I wanna have another coffee before I start scrubbing my bathroom and doing my right, deep So clean. Emma toasted the tortillas. There's the cheese and the corn. I put a little bit of salt, pepper, and butter, and ooh, the peppers are obviously thawing out because they were frozen. I took out quite a bit of water out of this pan, and I just wanna get them blistering a little bit. I didn't find any more peppers. These are all the ones we had just in that bag, but it will do. Here's the taco meat, I need to drain it. The beans, I added some taco seasoning and some cheese. There's the onions. And then my husband is cutting the meat. It smells really good, the seasoning. We're gonna use that, don't throw that away. We're gonna use all the seasoning. Here's our beautiful mushrooms going. We're gonna keep So this on. is what the fajita meat and everything turned out someone's doing both meats and we have rice in the rice cooker as well my fajita with some cheese and some sour cream some rice some beans and some corn it smells really good i'm sure it's really delicious i hope you guys enjoyed this week of um, my pantry challenge of meals if you did give me a thumbs up and we will see you in the next week Bye bye